Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria. When we last left off we did some fishing and I was doing a bunch of stuff off camera and uh, something unfortunate happened. Ah, I guess it's unfortunate, I don't know. Uh, we got a solar eclipse, which is kind of cool and also kind of bad. Uh, it's kind of cool because we can get some stuff, but it's kind of bad because it's interrupted me doing stuff. Um, but we should be completely safe. Man, they get a bit of velocity on them, don't they? Holy criminy. Why are my things broken? My little counterweights. Look at all these creatures from the deep. So many. My counterweights keep getting jammed under there and then break. Which is unfortunate. Get out of it. Uh, but yeah, this one looks like vampires. We uh, might be able to maybe get one of those night stones, I think it's called. Moonstone. It's not moon. Is it moonstone? Something like that. But um, yeah, we need those. For, well, one of those anyway. So that we can do the next step. Oh my. I forgot they have no knockback defense. Or maximum knockback defense, something like that. I don't know what I'm saying. Um. Yeah, vampires, so we can get the nightstone. I'm just going to call it nightstone. And then with that, we can combine it with the sunstone to make the celestial stone, which is an amazing item that I love. And then in this version of Terraria, we can combine the celestial stone with our moon shell to make the celestial shell. And that is going to be something we have on us all the freaking time, because it'll be amazing. Uh, but if I quickly come over here, I can show you this. Uh, so this is my chest that I quickly brought. Uh, basically, I brought some potions with me that we can use. Shine potions and night vision potions so we can see when we're fighting Plantera. Uh, Fawns potions, because why not? Hunter potions so we can see Plantera. Calming potion to stop the sheer amount of enemies attacking us. We made a life force potion, and I found one in my overworld in my chests. So I brought that with me. Wrath potion we have, I brought some bait, and I brought lots of ingredients to make lots of different things, including coral, which I used to make sonar potions. Uh, so I could do some more fishing, but uh, obviously then this started, which interrupted me. I also brought the shop, but I'll just have a play around with it. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're at the point where we need to... Oh, Swamp Thing looks different. Hey, get out. There we go. Bonk, bonk. So, wait, so I could just use the shot bird, just shoot stuff. I'm going to die. Holy moly, we nearly died. Uh, let's just do that. There we go. Right, we're fine. Everything's good again. Everything's good again. Look at all of these... Mo uh, these Reapers. So I don't know if any of these have special drops that we haven't seen. Like, we know the Reapers drop the Death Sickle. Uh, we know the Vampires drop the Nightstone, Moonstone. We know that the creature in the... Deep dropped the shell, something shell. Um, is there anything else down here I can pick up? No, it's just guts. Just guts of the enemies. Yeah. Let's put some more rain clouds down. And then fire fire yo-yo. And we'll just keep doing this. Look at all of these swamp things down here. There are so many. Hey, look, we've got another one. Another one of those. Uh, Neptune Shell, that's what it's called. Which it used to be that you would craft it, not that you would... Oh, no, he let yourself in. Get out. But yeah, if I can get one of those... Hey, get out of my life. Oh, no. I don't want to be down here. If I can get one of those night stones, moon stones, whatever they're freaking called, that would be a fantastic step in the crate direction. We've killed enough creatures from the deep now to advance with that thing. Oh, is this, this is where Mothron showed up, isn't it? In this, um... Come here, you vampire. You run away from me. It's in this, isn't it? The solar eclipse where Mothron shows up. So if that happens again, I'm going to have to quickly try to get to our minecart. So we can escape from Mothron. Come on, vampires. Don't run away. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. 
still unfortunately not dropping us what we needed. But there is another one. Oh. You know what I'm gonna do as well is uh this, this, and this. I think I'd have a load of money on it now. Sixty-six gold, yeah, but let's put that away. Quick stack. There we go, and then put the rain out again. But yeah, I figured I would show this solar Oh, hello, I didn't realise you were there. I will show this solar eclipse because you never know if we're going to get something new. And I try to get new stuff on camera. If, it, if I accidentally pick up new stuff, that is one thing. If I purposely pick up new stuff, that's another. So, oh, I just get both out. Perfect. Give me a freaking stone that I want. Like, Fritz. What does Fritz drop? If anything. Also, there's a swamp thing just chilling out of there, look, doing nothing at all. Get wrecked, eyes all. Look at it, what are you doing over there? What are you doing? What's wrong with the man? What is wrong with him? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, another thing I did, you may notice it next to my campfire as well, is I brought a cooking pot over so we can actually make food. I, I did all this talk about um, well-fed buff, and I didn't actually have anything to make food with. It's like a boxing glove. One of them is just like constantly pop, 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 punching him in the face like a boxing glove. What is with these swamp things that they keep breaking? But I really want to see, if I see an item drop, I'm going to jump out and get it. But that's what I'm hoping. Like, is, I can't tell what's an item and what is body parts from an enemy. Honestly. Now, I know for a fact I could stick down some banners to help me out. I know that. But at this point, um, I just can't be bothered. Alright, this is too many reapers. Let's be careful, I might knock them up and into my building here, look. Enough of these hits and be able to drift upwards. There we go. Alright, let's pop out and take a look. I haven't seen a um Mothron yet. Oh vampire, hello. Give me a finger magic. You son of a gun. Oh, picked up another dev sickle. Guys, come on. So last time we had one of these, did we have our mechanical cart with us? I think we did. Oh dear, I'm taking damage. I'm taking a lot of damage. Right, time to bail out of this. Up to here. Hey. Use the thing. There we go. Number 17 gold. Liking it. Uh, rain clouds. And boop. I haven't seen a Mothron show up. You guys have been saying Mothron can drop some cool stuff, so I'll be looking forward to that. Don't know if I'm going to be able to beat one, though. My I mean, health isn't particularly good, and when, it's, when it shows up, it makes me panic. And you guys know I have so much trouble trying to get into my minecart. I feel like if I got into my minecart, though, I could beat it. But I have a lot of trouble doing that. Just don't know if... Are there any... Is Mothron showing up? A random part of the event or is there a requirement like do I have to kill X amount of enemies before they'll it'll show up oh. I love having these double yo-yos so good and the infinite use time as well is honestly just so great damn it still no drop from the vampire I mean, the Solar Eclipse, I want to say it's rare. This is our second one. But I know for a fact that in our 1.2.4 world, we would get them all of the time. So can I really say it's rare? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, guy, do you guys want to actually, you know... Have the Mothron show up now so I can fight that? I'd love to give it an attempt. Look at how fast Fritz is. 
But yeah, I'm not seeing any like unique drops from any of these things. Oh, that's close. Uh, rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Take that. There we go. Buff yo-yos out. That's what we want to see. Get off these guys. Where is Mothra? I, mean, I keep asking for Mothra, and I know once it shows up, it's going to kill me. But I want to. I want a chance. I want to. I want to fight a Mothra. I've never killed one. I've never seen one twice. But I love how effective our yo-yos are in this little area that we've built. It's got just enough reach, which I wish I could say was planned, but it's just entirely uh, down to fortune. So I want to see, I want to see vampires, and I want to see Mothron. Vampires and Mothron. Or I want to see you guys drop something I've never seen before. Any of those solutions is good for me. I think what we're going to do is, after this as well, we'll start sticking up the banners. So we get the benefits of fighting these guys. But I guess for this, um, the Goblin Invasion and the Pirate Invasion would be the best to stick banners up for. I'm trying to track on this vampire. It's left! Did we get him? There he is. Rain! That's a good plan. Send that out again. Oh, no, he's coming. Oh, we got him. Perfect. No, get out. Vampires. Thank you so good. Thank you so good. This, like, I haven't seen any broken hero swords as well. Now, I know, again, they're supposed to be really rare. However, in our 1.2.4 world, we had, like, 60 of them, I think. We had a ton. And I think you need three of them. For the, the full Terrorblade craft. Don't know if they can be used for anything else, but. Something I would like to see at least. Look at all the money that you pick up from this. It's crazy. There's another 18 gold. What the 50 platinum? I'm barely even trying. Alright, I'll put some more rain out. 100 Frankensteins, cool. Nice bit of fresh rain. And then we get the next Yo-Yo Barrage. Yo-Yo Barrage. But remember the... Oh, I didn't even realise there's a vampire on top of me. Oh, I feel like an idiot. I feel like an absolute idiot. Can I go back in the game, please? So this is going to be over in a couple of minutes. Can't open my door because the gravestones on the outside. Okay. Uh, what do I want? I want my yo. I want these guys. Uh, let's get some fresh rain. And then yo yo. See how fast that possessed move then. We have vampires. Mothron, come on, Mothron. I've gone the entire thing without seeing you. So I guess Mothron then is a, a rare. A rare enemy occurrence. Like you could go an entire solar eclipse and not see one. Hmm, I need to increase my luck. My drop rate on stuff is bad. Oh, saying as well, the um having having the banners up not only lets me kill them quicker, but also means they do less damage to me as well, which is always good. There's like hardly anyone showing up, it's not fair. Come on, bring on a bring on an army. I wanna see I wanna see a hundred of these enemies on screen at once. Oh crap! Well Mothron's there. Is Mothron having trouble? Doesn't seem like it, right. Let's see if I can do this. Get on the freaking minecart! I don't know why it's so difficult. 
These are just regular arrows, by the way, not um, special ones. But, I mean, look at that. Look how effective this is. Imagine if I had special arrows and a better aim. <laughs> I could even slow it down if I wanted to. There we go. Oh, a little bit faster than this. Okay, if I, I reckon if I was using special arrows, this would be much, much better. Is that a vampire trying to fight me? I'm trying to fight a moth run, come on. Come on, you've got to drop something good for me. Are you kidding me? It's daytime, so it left. It left because it was daytime. I feel so cheated. Alfred, no! How dare you? How dare you attack Alfred? Oh, daytime, brother. I mean, nighttime. Oh, look at him. The poor man. That poor, poor man. I can't believe that. I was about to defeat a Mothron. Oh, my luck is the freaking worst. Alright, let's get some banners up. We've got Creature from the Deep, The Possessed, and Fritz. Where's my thing? There it is. Boom. 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 Uh, what else we got? Possessed armor. Possessed armor, you're not part of the special crew. Swamp thing is, though. Uh, I can go there. Oh, it's a mimic. Good job, mimic. You did a great job. Great job. Right, anyway, let's sort some crap out. Because inventory is a mess. Quick stack. Uh, oh, we got a Frankenstein banner. I can put that down. Like, a lot of this stuff is just going to get sold, so it doesn't really matter. Frankenstein's banner. There we go. Right, so, I was, as I was quickly showing you earlier, um, I have all this stuff. So, I was going to do some uh, fishing for... Uh, no, not Armored Cavefish. Ebon Koi and Prismites. Do it off camera, catch a bunch of them. But I don't want to do it on camera now for you guys. So I figure let's go and catch the armored cave fish now. Because that's the one you haven't seen me catch. And then basically if I can catch one of those. You guys know then that I'm able to catch a bunch of camera. And it's not going to be a big deal. Because you'll have seen it all. That's how I feel anyway. So we've got bait. We've got fisher potions. We've got sonar potions. Um, we've got a fishing rod. What else do I need? Do I need anything else? No, I feel I feel like we're good. All right, cool. So we're gonna go over to the icy place. Try to catch an armored cave fish. Uh, I don't mind picking up crates as well because crates mean the uh, prizes basically. And get out of here, penguins. Credits can be in an assortment of stuff that could be nice. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna take the shop bow up into... <gasps> oh, man, hiccups. Up into Unreal Modifier. It, I got Godly on it. That's fine by me. Right, this is where we dropped all the water down. And torch it up a bit. Down in here. And then down here. Cool. Right, so we will uh, drink these potions. And then we're going for armored cave fish. And we can see what we're catching now, which is something we couldn't do before. I don't know why I caught that. The fact that it was a different color, again, spooks me. If it's not white text, I'm like, oh my god, it's something special. I have to catch it. 
but I'm armored cave fish. If we get one, I'm like, okay, cool. We've got one, and that's all we ever really needed. Um, if we get more than that, then I'm, I'm very, very happy. We should as well, before the end of the day... Hmm. I was going to say, talk to Guide, but I think we... No, we didn't, because we had a solar eclipse. Uh, it depends if we get armored cave fish or not, we'll go up and talk to Guide. Otherwise, we might let it roll over into the next morning. Yeah, I'll, wait, I'll let it roll over into the next morning before we talk to Guide. And then that way, when I am off camera catching a bunch of fish for Armored Cavefish, Prismites, and Evancoys, since you don't need to see that, what I can do is um, get a bunch of quest fish that way. Maybe not turn them in. I don't turn quest fish in unless it's on camera. Because I could get loot, like good loot. Like, I'd really love to get the fisherman's armor and all the fisherman's accessories. And I guess also the free fishing items needed for my cell phone. I'd love to get all of that. So, I, unless I get it on camera, it, it feels like it could look very cheaty. So, I'll definitely try to get that on camera. But otherwise, I'll catch them. Because it's always nice to have a backlog of fish. Remember how we did before? Because then we can just turn them in and be like, he's like, oh, you want a Cthulhu fish? Good, I've got 10 of them in this chest. You can have one of these. Like, oh, you want a, you want an Ebon Koi poison corrupt fish thing? Cool, I've got a load of them in this chest. I'll give you one of those. And we'll just have them on standby, ready to hand in, so we don't have to keep going fishing over and over and over and over and over. Because we will need to do a ton of fishing. So the, the, the less I have to do, the better. Come on, please. Is it because it's an ice biome? That To me, that feels like the only excuse is because it's an ice biome and not regular stone. But on the wiki, it literally said any underground biome. And this is underground. That piranha just ate some coins. I'll wait for this... Uh, potion to run out. And then... If I haven't caught one here... Oh, I don't have one of those. If I haven't caught one here, I will try to find a non-icy area. Maybe, like, dig down and flood all the water out through it into a non-icy area. And be like, okay, this is our non... Is that a frost key that I just saw drop? We got a frozen key. I'm glad I've got my eyes open. I'm really glad my eyes are open for that. Because if I missed that, you guys would have definitely 100% spotted it. And then you would have said, Oh my god, you missed a frost key, you missed a frozen key, you're an idiot. You're blind. And now do we not? Yes, that is 100% true. But it's too late now. But 20 seconds... Uh, 15 seconds. Show me the kind of fish that I want to see. Please. Three, two, one. Okay. I, I just need to dig and try to find a non icy biome biome. Hmm. Looks awfully icy around here, though. Uh, how do I... How am I gonna, ah, I know what I'll do. Right, I will dig down. Like this. Then I'll dig across. Then I'll dig up. Uh, then I'll dig a up a little bit more, then across, and then down. Wait, is that water drink dripping through? It is, isn't it? Right, crap, I need to seal that up. There we go. All good. Marbly biome, oh boy. 
the juicer. Right, let's get some torches all the way along this. Get out of it. Actually, potion. Cool. Um, this is. I mean, just. I mean, marble must count as a non-frozen biome, right? So, if I go this way... No, it's still into ice. How far down does my icy biome go? Let's just, let's just keep dropping down at this rate. And we just want to see a non-icy biome. That's all we want to see. One hit stones. This is still ice. Just still ice everywhere we go. And this takes us into the underworld. That takes us across the jungle. Uh and this is ice. This is a huge ice biome. But we don't have a regular stone biome. Look, that's all corruption. That's all jungle. That's granite and hollow and crap. Uh, this is all ice. Uh, this is all ice. And this is the jungle. We don't have like a proper undergroundy stone thing. Um... Right, since we're on the surface, let's just go and talk to the angler and see what he has to say. Maybe we'll get super lucky. Easy! That's what we have on us right now. Man, I'm glad I came back up here. It's not in there. Fisher Cthulhu. There you go, buddy. I did it. Sun her potions. Nice. Nice. Uh, lock the safe up. Sort that out, I guess. I mean, open these. Hmm, yeah, it's, it's good. Not gonna lie. Ah, uh, what do I do? Where is the best underground fishing place then? And that's a ton of what, it's ice. It's ice and corruption. Jungle? Does ju will jungle count? It's going to be a nightmare because it's in the jungle with, you know, obviously enhanced spawn rates. Um, and it's in the granite biome, which has those enemies that can go through blocks to try and hit you. So it's going to be an absolute nightmare to try and fish there, but it feels like the only way to get it done. But yeah, honestly, if we can find one armoured cave fish, I just want to show that I can get it on camera. If I can get it on camera, then you're not going to mind if I go get a bunch more off camera. Get out of my life. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch these over. Use this scythe as I'm heading down into the jungle. Boodle boop. I've got to cut across our... Oh, I can show you the other improvement I made. To our arena. It's not really an improvement. But um, I put down a, a peace candle. Right here. Make sure to lower the spawn rate of enemies. And then down here should be all the water that I flooded out of all the areas. It's this giant, horrible, honey filled, watery mess. Let me in. Let me into the water. Please. I can't sink fast enough into the water, look. Uh, there we go. I know it sounds stupid, but what I can do is I just go over here now. Alright, we got we got oxygen. Uh let's fish. Um Get these potions on first. My inventory is a mess. I know it is. I apologize. Not much I can do. Right. 
That will. That'll do. Potion. Potion. Fish. No! Freaking honey. Why you gotta do that? I've literally just drunk potions. You're wasting my potion time. Ah. Stop. Thank you. Fish. Oh my goodness. So I'm, I'm just going to assume that this is going to be deep enough for us. But I don't know. And this is the problem. We're, we're just There's too much here for us to fight off. We're going to be under a constant barrage. Right, let's build a top. Let's put these guys on deck here. Hopefully that's going to be enough. I mean, the granite elementals will go through the um, floor to get to us and the ceilings and the walls, but yeah, there's not much we can do about that. But this is looking like it's going to be another long episode, and I don't want another long episode. I don't want to cut out all the fishing, though, because you guys might accuse me of cheating. But yeah, uh, I don't understand. Armoured cavefish. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even get it. I wanted that very grated ladfish, or it was called then. Thank you. I didn't think you was actually going to kill that thing for me. But you did. Why did I catch a bombfish? Granite golem shouldn't be able to get to me. But yeah, we're just going to sit and wait. Now, I guess I'll put a fast forward on. Until it shows up. Or doesn't show up. I want oh, why, why am I not allowed that very gritted ladfish? It's all I want in my life. It's not all I want. Damn it! Three in a row! Three in a row! I tried to reel in, and I'm not allowed to even take them. That's why I really want the unbreakable fishing line from the angler quests. It's the one thing I wanted the most in 1.2.4 from the fishing quests, and it was the final thing we got. It was like the last thing we got of all the fishing accessories. Anyway, fast forward. All right, guys, it has been eight minutes, and we haven't caught any. We managed to catch uh, five our gritted lard fish, a couple of stink fish, specular fish by accident, um, it's bass by accident, uh, and we've got some wooden crates, and a couple of iron crates. Maybe that will get us something special. Let's take a look. Uh, pretty good. We've got four of the best bits. Some of the skin potions, iron's good. And skin potion is good. I don't care about those. I don't care about that. So we're going to go home. Sad. That we still have yet to catch a free king. I don't understand how we haven't got a cave fish. I don't understand. Uh, oh, should I ask guide? Guide? Angler. Angler man. Does he want anything that we have? Hello. Ooh, we can go and catch one of those right now. Also, you, do you have what I need? No, he he never sells the freaking bricklayer anymore. It's the one thing I really want. Uh, we do have room in our inventory, so we can go and catch... Catch... Uh, how many mutant flink fins should we catch? I feel like we should stock up on them. I guess I'll go until my potion runs out. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. I will... I'll put a fast forward on. Once again, in fact, I'll cut out the last fishing trip since it's eight minutes of me not catching anything. And then this one will be the fast forward. And this one will be me catching several mutant flink fins, putting them in my piggy bank, and then... Um, 
then turning it in for a reward. And that will that will end this video. Which is unfortunately not gonna look at all these crates we're getting. Unfortunately not exactly what I want. I mean I would love to be able to fight Plantera next episode, but I don't want to until we get an armored carefish. Just because I feel like it's gonna up our chances a significant amount. <sighs> but I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I'll do some research. But I don't know what I could possibly research. It says any underground biome, and that's what we are. And hopefully you guys have been leaving me comments. I mean, it's Sunday today for me, and this will be Monday's video. I would love to be able to record Tuesdays, and Tuesdays being the Plantera fight, but hopefully uh, you guys have left me comments, and then on Tuesday I will record Tuesday's video using your comments, and I'll go and catch Armored Cavefish. And again, I, would only, I only need one. Just one, I think, is enough for me to fight Plantera. But I want to get more, just in case. And for other bosses. But again, you don't need to see me catch more. You only need to see me catch one. But it's just not happening. Also, I'm not seeing any mutant flink fins. Where are my mutant flink fins? I don't think it's got anything to do with this. I'll get rid of it, but I don't think that's anything to do with it. Well, yeah, I, I just want to, I just want to get one, and then we can do the Plantera fight next video. Anyway, I've been talking too much. Let's get a fast forward going. Oh, of course it's a Blood Moon. Hey, what are you? Whatever you are, you're escaping my life, and I want you in my life. Oh, it's just Atlantic God. Uh, so, hey, that means we had Blood Moon, Solar Eclipse, Blood Moon. Nice. Uh, anyway, we've got a bunch of stuff to dump. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but we managed to get a crazy amount of stuff towards the end of our fishing session. I'm going to throw the Frost Key in there. Uh, we've got... I mean, we should use these crates, I guess. Uh, I don't need that. Everything else is nice. Uh, ooh, what's this? Tsunami in a bottle again. Don't need that. Everything else is nice. Let's open up the golden crate. I'm excited for this one. Shouldn't be. They're always terrible. Oh, hey, we got the hardy saddle. We got the mount. Cool. Uh, we actually got some lucky stuff there. Right, finally... Let's turn in one of these mutant flinks fins and see if we get anything good. I'm hoping for unbreakable fishing line, but I'm also hoping for... Why is the wizard wearing a pink outfit? You look beautiful, Sunag. Sun... Sunag. Su... Sunag. Sunag. Ugh. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, it's a blood moon, full moon! All the time! All the time! All of the time. How wonderful is that for us? But yeah, I'm going to go put this stuff away, because we've just got a bunch of stuff. As you know what? No, I'm going to do one more thing before you end an episode. I'm do one more thing. Because I keep forgetting to do this. Uh, I'll just put stuff in here, because... It's just stuff to be sent to back to our other world. Um, that doesn't need to be here. No, I'll, I'll take the... No, no, I don't need the bit. You keep the bit. I said you keep it. Uh, and that is, we're going to take the fish from wherever we put those. Here we go. Uh, bass, I guess we'll do. And then... Cooked fish! There we go. So this gives us the well-fed buff. If I can select it. This gives us a well-fed buff for 20 minutes. Is it well-fed or is it a, a different buff? Let's eat one and see. Well-fed. Perfect. Uh, so that gives us improvements to everything. Which is great. 
and that can go into here. Excellent. But yeah, now we have those cooked. Uh, so I just wanted to do it on camera. But yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to do some research off off camera and just try to figure out why we're not getting armored cavefish. Uh, we might just have to go to a brand new world, you know, a pre hard mode one. And then that way what we can do is, um, you know, I should put werewolf, werewolf thing down. Go to a pre hard mode world so there won't be, um, corruption and hollow everywhere. But at the same time, I need to look up, maybe it can only be gotten in a, a hard mode world. Maybe pre hard mode. It doesn't exist as a pre-hard mode fish. I don't know. It's a serious amount of werewolves. Yes. I love fighting these mimics. They give you so much money. 40 gold. 40 gold. Please, take my one platinum that I have. Jeez. Nearly 52 platinum coins. It really begins to add up. But yeah, I'm, go I'm going to transfer all this crap across. Obviously, I've got a ton of crap here. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.